The Matrix Resurrections is out, and Concave Brand Tracking come through the fourth Matrix film to analyze how its product placement compares to its predecessors. We recorded every brand that appeared, how long it was on screen, and how visibly. This allowed us to compare Resurrections to its three predecessors, released in 1999 and 2003. This data also tells us which brands were the biggest winner from Matrix 4. Let's start by looking at Resurrections versus the original trilogy. The latest Matrix film features 47 different brands. They vary wildly from laptops and VR headsets to exercise machines and paper towels. This was more than any of the original three films. The original contained 39 different brands, while The Matrix Reloaded and The Matrix Revolutions had 27 and 13 different brands, respectively. Overall though, Resurrections did not provide brands with as much visibility as The Matrix Reloaded. Despite having more brands, they only totaled 35 minutes of screen time versus 50 in Reloaded. The second film also provided a higher quality of exposure than any other. This means products appeared more prominently and their logos were more visible. As The Matrix Resurrection just came out, it is not yet possible to estimate the amount of value it provided brands. We need an idea of the new film's audience to calculate that. Nearly 300 million people saw the original trilogy in theatre. This provided a total of $107 million in value for the brands it featured. However, in the past 20 years, well over 1.5 billion people have seen the original films, according to Concave's own conservative estimate. This vast audience means over $650 million in advertising value for all the brands that appeared in them. Of the 65 brands that appeared across the original films, the most visible included Sol, Nokia, and Panasonic in The Matrix, as well as Cadillac, Samsung, and Ducati in The Matrix Reloaded. However, by far the most significant brand to appear across the trilogy and in each film individually was Blind, the manufacturer of the iconic sunglasses worn by almost every character. The mysterious company headed by Richard Walker is behind almost every single pair of eyewear in the first three Matrix movies and made up 54% of all brand value in those films. I say mysterious as Blind seems to no longer exist and very little is known about its history. Just that they created custom sunglasses for the whole cast of the original Matrix and the two subsequent films. They seem to have briefly sold some of the Matrix models, but these are now only available on sites like eBay. But now let's turn our attention to the brands in The Matrix Resurrections, where eyewear was also a huge part, but from a different brand. Number 10 we have Apple. While Apple was not in the original Matrix trilogy, it appeared discreetly here and there in The Matrix Resurrections. For example, when Bugs finds Neo's old apartment, we see a vintage Apple Clisk 2 floppy disk drive. Neo also has an Apple Mac Pro tower on his desk at work, and eagle-eyed viewers will also spot Apple earbuds, Apple smartwatches, and iPads at various points in the film. This all adds up to 36 seconds of screen time for Apple. Apple is one of the top brands in film year in and year out, and it was number one in 2020, with placements in 30 of the 50 most viewed movies. Its best integrations were in The Wrong Missy, my Spy and Holiday. At number 9 we have Blind. As we've mentioned, Blind no longer seems to be in business. However, they appeared for nearly 30 seconds in the new film thanks to many flashback of the old ones. Number 8, Mercedes. After eyewear, the second most common type of product in the Matrix franchise is cars. Of course, the Lincoln Continental was the iconic car that appeared in all three original movies. But unfortunately, that brand did not appear in the latest film. Instead, we found the likes of Mercedes, who got over half a minute of screen time in the form of a 2019 Mercedes AMG G-Wagon. Number 7, Razor. When people think back to the Matrix, one of the first brands that comes to mind is Nokia. Nokia was the second most visible brand in the first film, after Blind. The Nokia 8110 was made iconic by its appearance in the original Matrix. It got over 4 minutes of screen time and in the 22 years since the movie was released, Nokia has earned over $100 million in advertising value from the placement. But the Matrix-Nokia partnership was not meant to last. In 2003, with the Matrix reloaded, Samsung took over with the SPH N270 becoming the new Matrix phone. However, both the placement and the film failed to achieve the same success as Nokia in the original. Between Samsung only getting about half a minute of screen time and far fewer people watching the sequels, today Samsung has only garnered about $2 million in advertising value from this integration. This represents less than 2% of what Nokia got. This brings us to Matrix Resurrections. 
where Samsung was absent and Nokia appeared in a single shot to recreate the first scene of the first movie. Instead, the main phone brand used in the new film is Razer. Although its logo is never visible, Neo uses a Razer Phone 2 for almost a minute of screen time in The Matrix Resurrections. This choice is likely due to his job as a video game designer. Although not a common brand in entertainment, Razer has carved itself a niche as a gamer-related brand. It has achieved this with placements in Silicon Valley, Shazam, and most recently in Free Guy. Razer also made Concave's list of the top 100 brands in film in 2017. It was number 62 thanks to its appearance in The Fate of the Furious. At number 6 we have Greats. In the original Matrix film, AWA was the 7th most visible brand thanks to its appearance as the vintage TV Morpheus uses while explaining the Matrix to Neo. AWA, which stands for Amalgamated Wireless Australasia, was presumably used because the film was shot in Australia and they just needed an old TV set. When this scene is recreated in The Matrix Resurrections, a similarly old TV is used, but it is different. Instead of an AWA TV, it is a Greats. Greats is a German company that started making TVs in the 1960s and still exists to this day. This likely was a totally organic placement that occurred due to a need for a vintage TV with a distinct look. At number 5 we have Eurocopter, which is now known as Airbus Helicopter. In the Matrix, Bell Helicopters was the fifth most visible brand thanks to the iconic scene where Neo frees Morpheus. It was specifically a Bell 212 that appeared. With several subtle callbacks to the original scene, two Airbus helicopters take on Neo and Trinity in the Matrix Resurrections. The brand got a minute and a half of screen time, and it was an AS350 model under Eurocopter or an H125 since the company was rebranded to Airbus Helicopters. Airbus is one of the most common helicopter brands to appear in film. It was the 36th most visible brand in 2018, thanks to its appearance in Mission Impossible Fallout. At number 4 we find Ford. While Mercedes was a new car brand to appear in the Matrix franchise, Ford featured prominently in The Matrix and in the background of The Matrix Reloaded. In The Matrix Resurrections, Ford can be seen both as police cars at the beginning and as one of the hero's vehicles in the final act. This added up to over two minutes of screen time. Ford is one of the most visible brands in film. It was number one in 2019 and number two in 2020. Some of its most notable integrations have been Spencer Confidential in 2020, Ford vs Ferrari in 2019, or Need for Speed in 2014. Number 3, Ducati. While Trinity briefly drove a Triumph motorcycle in The Matrix, and an MV Augusta bike in one scene in The Matrix Reloaded, Ducati is the brand she's most associated with. Ducati was among the most visible brands in the second film, with a 996 motorcycle giving over 2 minutes of screen time. This placement was worth $5.5 million for Ducati during the film's theatrical release, and nearly $18 million to date. This relationship between character and brand is crystallized in The Matrix Resurrections, when she says, I like Trinity, and I dig her Ducati. Another coincidence, I love motorcycles. Ducati also appears in the film for over three minutes. Ducati is one of the most frequently seen motorcycle brands in entertainment, it was the 38th most visible brand in 2016 movies thanks to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows and the 50th most visible brand in 2018 thanks to Venom. 2021 is also proving to be one of Ducati's best in terms of product placement. Beyond the Matrix Resurrections, it has also starred in Free Guy and Venom Let There Be Carnage. Number 2, Dell. In the original trilogy, only the Matrix featured real computer brands for a significant amount of time. At home and work, Neo's computers were Panasonic's, and the agents used an IBM laptop near the end. In The Matrix Resurrections, with Neo working as a video game developer, we see lots of computer-related products in the movie's first half hour. We see an Elecom mouse, a Vive VR headsets, a Zealot's ergonomic mouse, an Apple Tower, and a Kinesis keyboard. But the biggest computer brand is, by far, Dell. Indeed, Neo's desk is covered with numerous Dell products. We see three Dell monitors and two Dell laptops in a single shot of Neo working. Dell is consistently one of the most visible brands in film. It has never ranked outside the top 10 brand list since we first started publishing it in 2016. Dell was number three on Concave's list in 2020 with appearances in Spencer Confidential, The Wrong Missy, Underwater, The Midnight Sky, and The Invisible Man. Dell is also having a great 2021 and looking like a front runner for the most visible brand of the year. 
It has had standout appearances in Red Notice, No Time to Die, The Guilty, Free Guy, Fast and Furious 9, and Space Jam 2. And at number one, we find Tom Davies. As we've mentioned a few times, Blind was the biggest brand winner in the original trilogy. Their choice as the eyewear for virtually all the characters has resulted in over $100 million in value since the films came out. With Blind no longer around, the producers needed someone new to design the eyewear in the Matrix Resurrection. So, they turned to British designer Tom Davies. In the end, his frames got nearly 15 minutes of screen time in the new Matrix. All the main cast wore them, including the two stars, Kerry Ann Moss and Keanu Reeves. Whether Tom Davies gets as much long-term value from the Matrix franchise as Blind will depend on the audience of this new chapter, as well as its future. But no matter what, the British eyewear brand will undoubtedly get millions of dollars in advertising value from this partnership. Matrix 4 is, however, not Tom Davies' first time on the silver screen. In 2016, Henry Cavill could be seen wearing bespoke Tom Davies' horn glasses in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. And more recently, Tom Davies was asked to create a range of frames for the Disney film Cruella starring Emma Stone. The brand actually got a similar amount of screen time in Cruella as in The Matrix Resurrections. So with these two extensive placements, expect to see Tom Davy as near the top of our list of the most visible brands in 2021 movies. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our content about brands and entertainment. And you can also follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. Oh, <laughs> my